It's the state of mind that Cuss put me in. Why are you jumping around? He never, like, if you watched any of my earlier fights, you never saw me, when Cuss was alive, that was, you never saw me jumping around and celebrating. Because Cuss, I would come home and Cuss would watch the fight with me. We'd go over the fight and he said, after he'd go over my mistakes, he said, why are you doing that? Why are you jumping around? Do you think you've been practicing this every day for six weeks? And um, why are you jumping? You've been doing this every day. In the, you've been getting the same results every day in the gym. Now you get in the ring, you jump around, act like it was an accident. And so... I expect the people to be knocked out, so that's why I never really celebrated. Only as a, late I did out of arrogance, but when I was first training, I expect people to be knocked out. So it really, I don't know if that made me happy or was it anticipated. You refer there to Cus, Cus D'Amato, who came into your life in your early teens. Can you sum up the influence, the impact he's had on your life? Well, it's an extraordinary impact because uh, when I first met him, I was just a young street kid, and I never. Um, this is very interesting. I I can't believe that I'm I'm trying to explain this. I never had um. Besides confidence, I never was envious or jealous of anyone before, until I met Cuss. You know what I mean? And um, he gave me those qualities. Well, he made me aware of them. I probably had them all the time because I gravitated to them quickly. So he um, he made me aware of those qualities that um, you should have this. Uh, you could beat him. You're better than him. Not and not that you could be better if you work hard. You could be better, and you could also achieve good things. You're better than him, and this and that. And why should he have that, and you shouldn't have that? Why why should he be better than you? And I never would. And that was, and I was intimidated. I would say because he would say it really forceful. So um, I never had those qualities, and those qualities allowed me to. Um, I don't know, um, ascend to just achieve um, accomplishments. He was a legendary boxing trainer, but for you, he was much more than a trainer. Well, of course, because he adopted me. I pretty much became his legal guardian. He became my legal guardian, like my father figure. And we dealt with um, life as a father and son. And so I never knew what, um, how do I express, express this? I never knew what it was like for... Um, most people that had fathers, I noticed on some occasions, they wanted to make their father happy. And Cuss wanted to be, wanted to have a heavyweight champion. And that would make him very happy. I noticed when I won my fights and I won with spectacular knockouts, he would, he would, um, he was so happy, he'd be like a little child. He would call all his friends, his old friend, they're 70, 80 years old, about the Krogan and say, I got this new kid who's gonna be champion, he's only 14 years old now, but he's gonna be champion of the world. And he'd be, uh, he would light up like a, like a light bulb, you know? So I liked making him happy. I really enjoyed making him happy. But you lit up like a light bulb as well. I mean, he, he got you reading, watching films of old boxers, and and educated you in a way that you hadn't been up to then. Well, that's all I ever thought about when I was in my early teens, 13. Um, it's all I thought about was fighting and wanting to be a fighter. I didn't wash much. I didn't do anything much. I just thought about fighting. I read about fighters. And that's just, um, I wasn't told, I wasn't asked this, what you, I was told this is what you're gonna do. You know, I never said, well, this is what I'm gonna be a boxer. I would say, this is what, you know, you're gonna be champ of the world. This is what you're gonna do. We're gonna be champ of the world. And that was just my goal since I was 13. And Cuss would say to friends very soon after he met you that this kid's going to be the heavyweight champion. Yeah, of the people world. didn't believe him because I was so small. You know, small, I was thinner. I was half chubby, but I was for a heavyweight champion. I didn't have the. Um, well, this is interesting. I didn't have the appearance of a heavy physical appearance of a heavyweight champion. But he saw it. I don't know what he saw in me, but he saw it.